The Canto Bite subplot in The Last Jedi is a common criticism for the film. In my review, I agreed with that sentiment. I said that it felt somewhat inconsequential in the plot. Rose and Finn go all the way to Cantonica to get a codebreaker, and they're immediately caught anyway. So what's the point? A Twitter thread of all things completely changed the way I look at Finn's story, and I'm adapting that thread by at BarsumCore with his permission for this video, but I'm also linking to the original thread in the description. Finn and Rose's story begins with Finn trying to escape the Rattus to protect Rey. He's not a part of the Resistance, and in The Force Awakens he does the exact same thing. He goes to Starkiller Base under false pretenses to save her. When Han asks him how he knows how to turn off the planet's shields, he says he doesn't, he's just there to get Rey. His actions made him a hero to the Resistance, but secretly, he doesn't care. He's willing to go on the mission to find a codebreaker so he can keep Rey from returning to a complete disaster. So he and Rose head off to Canto Bite, and that's where things start to change for him. Remember, he was a stormtrooper. He had a sheltered upbringing, to say the least. Now he's going to a casino, which is the perfect setting for him to learn about the corruption and greed of the galaxy. It's decadence and selfishness and gluttony dialed up to 11. On the surface, he thinks Canto Bite is great, but when Rose urges him to look closer, he realizes these people are ignoring and even profiting off of war and pain and death. Then we meet DJ, whose purpose is to immediately challenge Finn as he develops a sense of duty beyond the well-being of himself and Rey. Rose and DJ are basically the angel and the demon on his shoulders. DJ claims the only way to be free is to not join a side, but through DJ's betrayal, Finn learns that fighting only for yourself in a war can be just as bad as fighting with the First Order. Then he fights Phasma, and I still have my issues with how that was handled, but the end of that fight confirms the lesson Finn has learned and the choice he has made. Phasma says, you were always scum, and Finn claims he's rebel scum. From that point forward, he is part of the Resistance. He isn't trying to save himself or save Rey, but he's fighting to save the galaxy. He's willing to sacrifice himself to give the Resistance a chance at survival. Regardless of how you feel about Rose stopping him in that moment, that is consistent with her character the entire time. After they rampage through the city on Fathiers, Finn says it was worth it to make them hurt. Rose then sets their father free and says, now it was worth it. She teaches Finn that the fight between good and evil isn't about destruction. Like she says, it's not about destroying what you hate, it's about saving what you love. This is very similar to Yoda's sentiment in Star Wars Rebels. It's not whether we choose to fight, it's how we fight that matters. And that is the point of the Canto Bite storyline. Without those experiences, Finn would still be, as Maz called him, a man who wants to run. He used to believe that a fight against the First Order was a fight that couldn't be won. He still might believe that, but at least he thinks it's worth trying. There was a line in the trailers that I don't recall in the film, but it was Finn saying, I was raised to fight. For the first time, I have something to fight for. That is his journey in The Last Jedi. While I have more appreciation for that whole plot now, I still think the execution could have been a little better. I feel bad saying that because I have no idea how I would do it better. I don't really think it's fair of me to say that without any alternative. It's just that these themes weren't apparent to me after multiple viewings. It took that Twitter thread to point it out. And like I said, this all comes from a Twitter thread by at Barsumkor. I linked to the thread below, and I also linked to his series of pulp stories called Dino Pirates of Ninja Island, so check those out in the description. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.